All right, well, for this next presentation, we take a very different turn into the world of social media. It's a world that some people in the records and information management industry might not spend too much time thinking about, but if they don't, they definitely should. And to explain why we have Mark Mitchell, head of sales and partnerships at Broly, Australia's very first social media archiving tool, who will be talking about why information managers can't afford to ignore social media. So don't forget to ask Mark any questions you have. I know Miriam, who's the head of content and customer success at Broly, will also be in the background helping respond to questions. And with that said, I'll now pass on over to Mark to get started. Welcome everyone, and thank you for your time today. My name is Mark Mitchell, and I'm the head of sales and partnerships at Broly, Australia's first and only social media archiving and engagement solution. As records and information managers, it won't be news to you that every social media post and comment is a digital record. Digital records of all kinds have their unique requirements and social media is no different. Even before our world was turned upside down with this year's bushfires and the pandemic, the shift to digital was already well underway, with digital transformation becoming a buzzword across all sectors and particularly in government. What's happened in the last six months has simply sped up what was already happening. And the challenges are enormous, sometimes overwhelming. What we're seeing is that 60% of Australians use the internet more than five times a day, with the average number of internet enabled devices owned at 3.5. More than six in 10 use social media sites daily, with 34% checking in more than five times a day. The two most popular times for social networking are in the evening and first thing in the morning. An app is used almost twice as much as a website for accessing social media. Nearly all social media users access it at home with the lounge or living room and the bedroom being the two most popular areas of the home where people use it. Unfortunately, the toilet was mentioned by 20%. So it's clear that more and more people are turning to social media for their information. Organizations are evolving to use social media more and more as an effective tool to reach and engage with their customers and their community. Everything from support and advice through to alerts, customer support and crisis communications is now being communicated through social media. As a community, we are no longer just accessing our social media from a PC, laptop, tablet or phone device. And no longer is your company's website the front door for digital information about your organization. It's important to remember your posts and engagement on social media are authoritative sources of information about your organization. So there are more records available and these are getting easier to find. Which brings us to the key question of why should you archive your social media? Customers are aware that they are now have a public voice and social media is increasingly being used for complaint resolution with over two thirds of Smart Insights respondents indicating that they expected companies to offer customer service via their social media channels. A recent study by Conversocial found that over half of respondents preferred social media communications to engage with brands than traditional methods such as email, phone, or web chat. And it's hardly surprising. We now live in a highly connected world where businesses are no longer inaccessible outside of the traditional nine to five business hours. And social media provides the flexibility to communicate with brands at hours that suit our needs as customers. Why waste your lunch break on hold with a call center when you can post a question to social media during your morning commute and view the response as you're making a morning coffee. There's more to it than simple flexibility though. The transparency social media offers means businesses can no longer get away with a one size fits all approach. Customers don't just want a cookie cutter response to their concerns. They want organizations to truly engage with them. 
Have you ever called a business and been informed that a record of this conversation may be captured for training or administrative purposes? The communication channels within your organization all have been around for many years and are very well established. It's second nature for your hard copy records to be archived, scanned, and digitally stored. Phone lines handling help and support inquiries are recorded. Websites, online forms, and community forums are backed up and archived automatically. Email servers are backed up and store all past email correspondence. However, records of social media posts and engagement have been forgotten or have not been a concern until now. In many cases, it is only when there is a lack of availability of these archived records that it becomes an issue. There are a number of significant reasons why you should be archiving your social media records. These include freedom of information requests, a variety of government legislation and laws surrounding retention and management of digital records. And these now include social media records. You may be asked to respond to litigation requests. How would your social media records hold up in court? Or you may be required to present information to a Royal Commission that may include various forms of communication, including social media records. But what are these requirements, you ask? Our team has spent the last couple of years working closely with various Australian national and state archiving bodies to better understand the requirements for archiving social media records. And most importantly, our recommendations can be actioned by organisations to protect themselves. So with all these requirements and reasons to archive your company's social media records, how do you actually go about doing it? Well, you could do what many, many organizations are currently doing, spreadsheets, manual screenshots, and Microsoft Word-based message logs are just a few examples of the creative attempts to solve this challenge we've stumbled upon. All had good intentions. However, manual cut and paste records aren't reliable, accurate, or efficient, proving to be an administrative nightmare. So why is it so complicated to archive a social media post? because there's actually more to a social record than just the image. A simple screenshot can't capture metadata, edits, deletions, and external media, nor can it ever truly represent the whole picture as it's impossible to manually capture all engagements as they happen. Real-time recording is the simplest and most effective way to preserve your records. Here, we've listed some of the key parts to a social post. The account, the handle or user. The activity, action and time. For example, Mark created the new inquiry. Mark edited an event. The post with any links to external sites. Media, such as image, videos, etc. Analytics, the likes, the shares, the emoticons. Comments, feedback, questions, remarks. And lastly, the metadata containing various additional attributes. It's the sum of all these parts that makes a record compliant. The moment something is missing or lost, its context is reduced, which may be crucial for reconstructing it in the future. And so it is that the context in social media posts is the most important thing. Without the question or the comment, the record often doesn't make sense. The reason social media has revolutionized service delivery is because of the dynamic quality of the engagement. Context is king when it comes to digital record keeping, and it's a challenge because without context, the messages we capture lose their meaning. So with all this complexity surrounding a social media post, what do you need to look for from a social media archiving tool? Your social media posts are different from other media digital records in that they are always live. Capturing in real time is the only way to be compliant. Is the solution designed for social media first or has it been designed for capturing other information and social media is an afterthought? 
You don't want to put in a social media archiving and engagement solution and then spend all your time either figuring out how to use it or managing it use. It has to be easy to use. Does it have all the features that matter to your business? Can you search and retrieve using a variety of parameters? Can you create alerts for keywords and phrases? Can you tag posts? We have seen that social media records are complex and contain a number of elements. Does the solution capture all the elements, such as the images, videos, and the metadata? Does it capture the ads, changes, and even deletes? Will it fit in with your current records management systems? Can you get the information you need to manage the business? Can you export it out in formats that are useful potentially to potentially different parts of the business? You will need to ensure that data security and compliance are considered, especially as to where your data is going to be held. And you would want local support in your time zone. Does the company understand your industry? Do they have customers similar to you? Or are they specifically designed for a specific industry? And finally, will they allow you to try out the application before you commit to purchasing it? Does that trial version then give you the full functionality and look and feel as the live version so you know what you are absolutely going to get? So how does Broly solve the complex challenges of social media archiving and engagement for our customers? Broly provides a cloud-based software as a service solution that allows organizations to easily and simply connect their social media accounts to, that then captures your social media activities in real time, all in the one place. It captures all of the details of the social media record including all media types, such as images and videos, allowing you incredible functionality around being able to search, find, retrieve, and report on your company's social media engagement, as well as being able to export this data out at any time if there is a requirement to have the data stored in an organization's enterprise content management system. The application is 100% hosted and housed in Australia, meaning all a company's social media records remain on Australian soil which is a very important point of consideration for many organizations. So let's have a quick look at some of the functionality you have with the Broly social media archiving and engagement system. We'll start by looking at the opening screen, which is the dashboard where your connected accounts and record accounts are. We'll then look at the feed and the multitude of different options you have to filter and search your social media feeds including how to export data out of Broly. We'll then look at the messages functionality, as well as alerts. Then we'll look at the settings area before finishing up by looking at the help tools you have available to you. The dashboard is the first screen you see when you log in, and it provides you with an overview of your social media activity and the channels and accounts you have connected. Broly allows you to have various social media accounts all archived and available within a single solution. The feed is where you see all your social media records from your connected accounts, all in one place. Now that's very handy. It gives you a bird's eye view, but with as much detail as you like, and it is a consolidated view of all your connected social media accounts. You can view every captured record with the newest at the top of the feed and then search by simple keyword or advanced search by keyword, username or hashtag and more. You can also filter by account type, by post, status, e.g. edited or deleted, content type or even date range. Then export those filtered views straight from the feed for access to data insights. Some companies may have a requirement to ensure their social media archiving data is also stored in their company's enterprise content management system, or they may need to provide a snapshot of the data to management. Well, Broly allows you to do this and provides you with four different formats of data export, a PDF with links to the original social media sources, a fully packaged HTML file, 
which is an offline version of Broly captured at a moment in time that also contains all the media, such as images and videos, a JSON file for the techies, and a CSV file for using in Excel, which is great for data analysis. Some people prefer to contact you privately. Broly still captures these communications and allows you to search and retrieve them if needed. You can proactively stay on top of your social media communications by creating alerts for keywords and phrases you may want to pay special attention to in your accounts. This will send you an email when the word or phrase is used. How useful is that? You can manage your Broly account or from the one place. Under settings, you can add and remove accounts, manage all your users, create groups of users, and apply tags to records for advanced sorting and filtering. You can also manage your organization's settings and even check your plan details. While we believe your Broly social media archiving and engagement solution is intuitive and easy to use, every now and then you may need some help. The great news is there is a number of different ways you can get that help. Really, it is up to you as to what sort of help you would like. The one thing I want you to be conscious of though is that Broly is not a listening tool. Our goal is to empower organizations to have meaningful conversations with the public, and that means managing the risk for you. We make compliance easy so you can engage confidently on social media. Our solution is being used by a number of organizations, particularly government departments at the federal, state, and local government levels. We are now starting to see this engagement spread to educational institutions, utilities, banking, finance, and insurance companies, all who need to ensure they have a record of their social media interactions with their customers. That concludes our presentation for today. Thank you for your time, and I'll leave you with this one thought. Now is the time to take ownership of your organization's social media records. For more information, please visit our website or contact me using the details provided. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for that presentation, Mark. If anyone now has any questions for Mark, he'll be hanging around for the Q&A session. He'll also be joined by Miriam, who'll be helping out. So just ask your questions by clicking the Q&A tab in the top right hand corner. And with that said, we'll get this Q&A started.